Hey guys, and welcome to Petrol Ped. And welcome to my COVID-19 daily vlog, uploading a new video every evening at 6 p.m. to keep you sane during lockdown. Well, it's time for another Peddler's Rides. Oh, hello. Someone got clipped yesterday. Yes, the professional groomers did a lot better job than I did, didn't they? Yeah. But there isn't a specific theme to this one, apart from all the cars are blue. Okay, so let's start off with, well, not a peddler's pup this time, but a peddler's parrot, yes. This one's been sent in by Dave Marr from Port Arlington, Victoria, Australia. This is Rocky the parrot. Now, I used to have a budgie and I always wanted an African grey parrot, but they, they live like 80 years or something. <laughs> um, so I never ended up getting one, but I think parrots are very cool. And then second peddler's pup, proper dog this time. Uh, this is Dave White's Maisie. I like your style, Maisie. Obviously, maybe out on a shoot or something by the look of the fact I think you're in a gator. So let's crack into the first of today's videos. I have three videos for you today. We're going to head over to Darren Reader and a rather tasty Golf R. Hi guys, this is my 2014 Golf R. It's APR stage one it's had the gearbox remapped as well um, it sits on kw coilovers uh, i've changed the wheels to revo alloy wheels uh, i've changed the brakes to brembo four pot calipers and some mtech discs uh, on the rear i've changed the discs and uh, just painted the calipers red just to match the right ones. I did the Otinka roof spoiler, which I think gives a really lovely side profile. And it's quite cool from behind as well. Integrated engineering carbon air intake. We've got a Turbo Technics intake, turbo inlet pipe. A um, couple of silly blue stickers, really. Um, and that's about it. So it's a really lovely car. Like I say, I've, I've had it for six years and I've been really, really pleased with it. It ticks all my boxes. It goes like stink. It's five adults in it really easily. Um, it's just a lovely, lovely car, so I'm really pleased with it. I've got no intention to get rid of it. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed looking at it. Uh, stay safe, guys. Now that for me is how modification should be. Really, really subtle. That car could drive past you and you might actually be fooled for thinking it's just a standard Golf. But when you look closely, you know what you're looking at. The brakes, the stance, I just thought it was a mega car. I bet it drives brilliantly as well. So yes, cracking video there, Darren. Thank you very much for that. Now then, we are off to, well, video sent in by Kimmy Compton of her daughter, Casey, who's just 10, showing us around the family 335D M Sport Touring. I love this. Hi, Petrol Pad. I just wanted to take you on a tour of our BMW 335D M Sport Touring. So, it's a twin turbo 3 litre engine and it's got the BMW adaptive LED lights. It's um, got the 19 inch alloy wheels with the M Sport blue calipers. It's got the M Sport badge as well. So the colour of this car 
is the um, Estral Blue. It's got an organic sunroof that opens and closes and it's got blacked out windows. And then we've got the LED pack. So in the boot it opens two ways. You can either open it through here Sport and Sport Plus. It's got cup holders and a place we can put your phone and the keys are also in here. So it's an M Sport key. So it has a blue. It's got storage in here as well. And I'll see you in the back. So in the back, it's got pouches here and there is heating and cool there is also an armrest and um, I have cup holders it's also got a a port so if I need to charge something so Petroped I hope you enjoyed this video of a tour of our family car that is a BMW 335G bye Casey, you are a one-take wonder. That was amazing. The fact you remembered all of the details and all of the specifications was brilliant. And I love the transition from outside to inside. I thought that was very good. Superb, superb video. I think there's lots of young YouTubers gunning for my job at this rate. What do you reckon, pup? Yeah? Why have you got stuff stuck all over your face? Have you been eating from under the bird table again? Yeah. And then finally, we're off to Lee Tarbox, uh, and he's gonna show us around his entry into family business, but it's the family Skoda. You'll like this one. Good morning, and welcome to my uh, review of my Porsche Boxster S. I'm only kidding, it's a Skoda Octavia, obviously, but it is my pride and joy. Um, the family car of choice for many all over the country. Uh, this particular one is a two litre TDI Elegance Estate. Um, it's my own one, it's a 150 horsepower one. It's the six speed DSG. Obviously when it was new, it's about 25K. No, I didn't pay that. Um, it's painted in race blue and it's finished in 17 inch Terron alloys wrapped with Goodyear tires. Um, the engine obviously is quite strong. It produces 320 newton meters of torque. 236 foot-pounds. Uh, it costs 30 quid a year to tax um, and it's currently doing about three weeks to the gallon. Um, as you can see it's got a huge boot for all the uh, essential uh, COVID-19 supplies. There you go, just in case, you know, got to have the best. Obviously being the car of choice to carry my family around, it, uh, it had to be safe. Uh, this particular model has seven airbags, uh, ESC, and it also has auto pre-fill and prime of the brakes if it thinks there's going to be an accident. Currently has no modifications, although I will be doing red brake calipers at some point in the future, uh, and a remap hopefully to take it up to VRS diesel power output. The car comes with heated leather interior, it's very, very soft and very, very comfortable. Obviously, as I've said, it is uh, finished in race blue. It's my favourite colour of all the Skoda Octavias. Uh, okay, I'd like to thank Petrol Ped for this opportunity and um, good luck with everyone. Hopefully we'll see you online. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs> I love it. I like your sense of humour, my friend. But the best bit was when you opened the boot and I saw all of your lockdown supplies. I noticed a bottle of Kraken in there. I have a very soft spot for a bottle of Kraken. Unfortunately, I try not to have it in the house because once I've opened it, it's a bit like um, 
Pringles, you know, once you pop, you just can't stop. <laughs> once you pop the top of a bottle of Kraken, it tends to evaporate really badly in my house. Terrible. <laughs> but yeah, brilliant video and great car. I think Skodas, they're just fantastic cars. I need to actually do some more Skoda reviews on the channel. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you have done so, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. And I'll see you on the next film, guys, but you take care. Stay safe.